Hello everyone. In this lecture today, I am going to talk to you about what are enzymes, what are what is the different classification of enzymes, and what are the tricks and mnemonics to re remember different classes of enzymes and the type of reaction they catalyze. Enzymes are catalysts. Okay, enzymes are catalysts. They that carry out chemical reactions at an amazingly high rate. So that means enzymes are the catalysts. They help to speed off the chemical reaction. They are characterized by remarkable efficiency and specificity. Let's say that this is a substrate A and this another one is the substrate B. A and B, two molecules, and here we will have enzymes. What kind of chemical reactions enzyme catalyze? Biochemical reaction. And it gives a product C. So this means this enzyme here will speed up the reaction between A and B to give the product C hence functioning as a catalyst, okay? So here, this is an enzyme, and this enzyme is acting on the substrate. This is the substrate here. So what is the substrate? Substrate are the substances on which enzymes act. This is the enzyme, and this here is the substrate, which means that this particular compound is called the substrate of this enzyme, okay? So now that I talked about what are enzymes, I'm now going to talk about how these different enzymes have been named. Enzymes are named by adding the suffix ASE, okay, by adding the suffix ASE uh, to the name of the substrate they modify. For example, urease, tyrosinase. So the substrate on which this enzyme urease act is urea. Similarly, this enzyme tyrosinase, what is the substrate this, uh, this enzyme act on? This enzyme acts on the substrate tyrosine okay so these different uh, enzymes can be named by adding the, suff uh, the suffix ase uh, to the name of the substrate that they modify or enzymes can also be named by the type of reaction they catalyze for example dehydrogenases decarboxylases okay dehydrogenases removes hydrogen um, so decarboxylases removes carboxyl group so then, finally, some enzymes have arbitrary names, for example, pepsin and trypsin, okay? So whenever you see ASE, okay, so at the end, if you see ASE, then you have to think that that particular compound might be an enzyme, okay? So this is the trick. So then, now I have talked about what are enzymes. Let's talk about how the enzymes have been classified. Enzymes are classified into six different categories according to the type of chemical reaction they catalyze. Oxidoreductase, transferase, hydrolase, lyase, isomerase, and ligases. So, how are you going to remember these different classes of enzymes in this order, okay? The mnemonic to remember the different classes of enzymes is on the Himalayas, okay, on the Himalayas, life is lightened. O, referring to oxidoreductase. T, referring to transferases. Himalayas H, referring to hydrolases. Life L, referring to lysases. Is I, referring to isomerases. And lightened L, referring to ligases. Okay, so the, the mnemonic is on the Himalayas, life is lightened. So then, now let's talk about what are the different types of reactions catalyzed by different class, classes of enzymes. Oxidoreductase is the name such catalyzed oxidation and reduction reaction. The examples are hydrogenases, oxygenases, dehydrogenases. Okay, so oxidoreductase, so oxidation, reduction reaction. Transferases, they transfer the functional group from one substrate to the another. Okay, as the name suggests, they do they, they do the transfer function okay transfer function they transfer the functional group from one substrate to another example include kinases transaminases then the next class of enzymes are called hydrolases they catalyze the uh, hydrolysis or the breakdown of the substrate examples are esterases proteases okay hydrolases so hence they catalyze hydrolysis or breakdown. Then the next class of the enzymes are, are called isomerases. 
they do the rearrangement of atoms within the substrate example is phosphohexoisomerase so what are isomers they have same chemical formula okay same chemical formula but different structural formula so these enzymes what they do they just do the rearrangement of the atoms so that the structure is different but the chemical formula remains same okay so then the next class of enzymes are called lyases which do the non hydrolytic removal of the group from the substrate okay non hydrolytic removal of the group example include decarboxylases aldolases okay removal of carboxyl group here the classes of enzymes are called ligases or they are also called synthetases they do they do the catalysis on a synthetic reaction or a synthesis they catalyze synthesis they join two molecules to form a new molecule example include dna ligases for example dna ligases they combine insert and the vector to give the new clone okay like this here so the function this is this is the dna ligases